Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday morning. In today's video, I would like to give you guys a very, very quick update on the Firebase chat application series. And due to a lot of popular requests and demand, I went ahead and updated each individual lesson project download to now be compatible with Xcode 8.3 using the Swift 3.1 compiler. So you guys can go to the website and download the projects again, and it should now be compatible with the latest Xcode version <laughs> using Swift 3.1. Cannot guarantee that it'll work with Swift 4 when that comes out later this year. Now, in addition to all of that, I would like to go over a list of things that I would do differently now that I've had roughly six to seven months of time to reflect on the entire project. So quickly here, I'll show you what the project looks like again, and then we'll go over that list. Okay, so here we go. Let me quickly remind you guys what the application looks like itself and some of the features that it has to offer. On the screen, we have the simulator on the right side, and then we have my iPhone right here logged into the application as myself, and this is the simulator. And if you wanted to tap on this guy, I can actually send a message to my simulator. So here we go with this video, and then hit the send. We get the video, and then over here, I can click on that. It loads up that chat, right? And in addition to sending messages, you can send images as well. So I'm going to load some moments here. We can click on myself. Boy, that is a lot of selfies that I've taken this morning. So hit the choose, it'll send the image. And on both sides, we will actually get the image being loaded in real time. Now the application also supports video. If you wanted to send that, you can do that as well. All right, so moving on, I wanna talk about the biggest thing I would have changed if I could redo the entire series here. And uh, what you're seeing right now is the login slash registration page for the application. And all of the views inside of this screen, it's set up programmatically using these layout anchor constraints. And uh, it is quite frustrating to have to type out all of this code, especially the is active equals false and is active equals true. And all of that is dead inside of you to load down here and down here as well. So if I were to do this all over again, I would introduce the easy anchoring extension that a lot of you guys have seen both in the Twitter series as well as the Instagram Firebase course. And uh, that extension allows me to not have to type the is active equals to true and uh, also, I don't have to deal with this property up here called translates auto resizing mass into constraints. And I always set this to false inside of that anchoring extension itself. So it would have made this entire process a lot easier to kind of set up and deal with. Uh, the first episode of the series was about 36 minutes or so, and it would have greatly reduced the amount of time that first lesson would have taken. And the second thing I would have changed about the application is how I set up the user and message model objects. Now, inside of this updated project, we have these initializers that take in a dictionary of string to any or any object, and we set up these properties manually right here and also in the user model like this and in the previous code we used this method called set values from dictionary which turns out to be really difficult to deal with if you don't really understand what that method does so this right here really makes your application kind of crash proof and it just makes the code easier to understand now along with this change all of the firebase method calls to observe for users and messages have also been updated so that you construct it using a dictionary instead of set values from dictionary. Okay, finally, for the couple of hundred of you guys that have left a comment on the YouTube channel about the name field not being properly hidden when you click on this login page, you can finally go ahead and download the updated project to see what that one line code fix really is. Okay, so for those of you guys that have completed the entire Firebase chat application series, you're probably wondering where to go from here, right? Well, on my website, I'm offering this Instagram Firebase course, which is currently about 40 episodes or so, where we go over a lot of different advanced application building techniques. And for example, we build out a user profile screen where we show all of the currently shared photos for that user. We also go over how to build out a custom photo selector. And in addition to that, we also go over how to use the camera as well as search for users and follow users inside of the Instagram application. So if you're interested in checking out that course, make sure to follow the link in the description below. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.